everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're going to be making some hair clips. So I got these really cute hair clips from Amazon. These are shaker hair clips. As you can see we have the mold coming out here so that we have a little indentation to add fillers and they come in various shapes. So I have some with paw prints, a heart one, a flower one, and some basic ones. So today, instead of making them into shakers, I'm just going to be filling the outside with colored resin and the inside with clear ones. Here are the colors that I'll be using. These are opaque alcohol ink from Let's Resin. They're not as see-through as regular alcohol ink. For the inside, the clear part, I'm also going to add some foil flakes. This is in silver. And the resin that I'll be using is from Let's Resin. All right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and mix our two-part resin. We're going to separate the resin into four cups. Next, we're going to add the colors. But before we do that, we really have to shake it up because the opaque part of it settles to the bottom. All right, now that we mix the colors, let's go ahead and let it sit for a bit. I want to get it to be kind of sticky and not as runny like this. So I want it very, very thick. That way the colors won't blend as much. All right, so at this time, it's been about 20 minutes. And as you can see, the resin is getting a lot thicker. So now let's go ahead and start pouring. So what I'm going to do is just take these colors and drizzle them into the mold. So it'll be a little bit splotchy. And do the same with the next color. And now the pink. And go back to the yellow again. And the light blue. A bit more pink. So as you can see, it can get a little bit messy. So make sure to protect your table. Underneath, I actually have a silicone mat. And now for the blue. All right, once the cavities are filled, let's go ahead and let it cure. All right, everyone, so it's been a few hours and our resin is cured and we can go ahead and demold it. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's our first one, the flowers, and it turned out really, really pretty. Look at that. I just love the colors. You can see the pink, yellow, and blues. Here's the heart. Oh, look at this one. These are the paw prints. And this one is another paw print. So usually when you use this mold, you won't fill up this part, but I did anyways, because we're gonna fill it with another layer of resin inside. Here are the oval ones. Look how pretty that is. Next one, this one has the smooth edges. This one is curved or scalloped. Here's a smooth oval. Here's a triangular shaped one. And here's another triangle with scalloped edges. So once again, these are actually perfect to be made into shakers. But today we're actually gonna fill it with clear resin and some silver flakes. So let's go ahead and make more resin. And in here, in the clear resin, we're gonna add some silver flakes. Now we're going to fill each cavity. All right, everyone, and we are done. So both layers of resin have cured and this is what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? So on the outside we have our pastel swirls of colors and on the inside we've got clear resin with some silver flakes. So here is the flower one. Here is a dog print. Here's another one with paw prints. Here is a paw print. This one has three hearts. And this one is a plain oval. Over here we have some larger ones. Here's one with scalloped edges. This one is a large oval. 
And you can see that this is opaque, but light does go through. So it is kind of cool that way. Here is a triangular one with scalloped edges. And here is another one. And this set does come with clips. So we have a set of clips here that we can attach with some glue. So what you would do is essentially glue it right here onto the back and then you can wear this as a hair clip. So these smaller ones are smaller than a clip, so you'll see this. And these bigger ones cover the clip completely. So that way you won't see it. I think next time we can even make them into shakers. So we can put some fillings inside and then we can shake these around and they'll be a lot of fun. Alright everyone, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think I can do with these molds next time. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!